Well, with my work recently, actually, I've been delving into different materials and mediums. So specifically, behind me here, I'm using a bit more of gold leaf um, in multiple pieces, along with different finishes, some that have a really high gloss and some that are maybe more matte. Um, I'm interested in these different surfaces and finishes because I feel like they interact with the world around the artwork. Um, so depending on when you see the artwork, it may have a certain shimmer or it may reflect something um, in the world around it that then sort of gives the work um, an additional element that is more, I don't know, present, um, that sort of responds to the world around it. So I'm interested in these materials that can sort of add a different aspect to the work and add a different layer or depth to it. I'm a firm believer that um, when you live with art, that you sort of develop a relationship with it. So depending on the time of day and depending on your mood or the season, the art will shift and change along with you because you may notice different elements in it that you didn't notice at different times. Um, so that's something that I think is really special about artwork, something that's made by hand. Um, somebody's put a lot of intention and, and purpose and, and their own sort of message and voice into something. But when somebody can live with it um, and interact with it and develop a relationship with it, I think that's sort of when the artwork is complete, when, when somebody's able to interact and relate with the work that we've created. I think a lot of my work, I do tend to look at and be inspired by the world around me. Um, so it'll be really simple things. It'll be uh, the color in the clouds, it'll be the shape of a tree, and that'll be something that I'll want. It'll just spark something and it'll force me to get into my studio to try to interpret it in my own language. Um, so they're sort of, they're not necessarily based in reality. Um, they, they tend to sort of be icons that, that speak to familiar places or familiar colors or um, something that maybe I think all of us can relate to in a certain way. Um, recently I have this little robot character that's been showing up in my work. Um, again, he is somebody that appeared over a decade ago in my work and I left him for a while and this year he's come back into my sketchbook so I'm sort of exploring where this character can take me with my work. It's allowing me to sort of I guess explore worlds that are beyond the earthly confines. It's allowing me to sort of think about um, what can I create with a brush and pigment on a surface um, and where that can go.